Hey sis, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. I'm Sharon. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're going to be doing this really quick, really simple style, a long goddess braid ponytail situation. So if you want to see how to get the look, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Okay, so I used the Deep Twist Hair by Free Trist, and I used two and a half packs of Kanekalon hair, like the regular Kanekalon hair, not the um, expressions. Um, and I got two color fours and one color two, or I got two color twos and one color four. I, either way, I mix the colors because my hair literally is sometimes super light brown and sometimes super dark brown. So now I'm just stretching the hair out so that it's not like blunt at the ends and i also went in and separated the deep twist hair because i feel like i just didn't want it to be like together i wanted it to be separated and this little bit of hair that i got in my hand right here is for the end of the braid and the other half is going to be for like you know the goddessy part um and then i just stretched it a little bit as well so now we had to call in some reinforcement well no i had to call in some help because trying to do this on camera was difficult normally i could just put it on the doorknob or dresser knob or something and get to braiding but because i was sitting here trying to do it on camera it was a little bit difficult so i had to call rob in to like hold the base so i could try to do it which made it just a little bit complicated but you get the gist of it it's literally just a braid and you add the curly hair in and you leave some pieces out you know you get the gist like it's like that but um and this also was a lot of hair that i had I'm sorry about that um because i wanted it to be nice and thick you know so adding in the curly hair and braiding down and leaving one side out and that's literally what's going to be done throughout the whole braid um adding in the curly hair leaving one side out braiding one side down and then once i get to the bottom is where like i'm gonna add the curly hair in so it has like only the curly ends um but it was a lot of hair to grip my hands was getting cramped up rob's hands was getting cramped up <laughs> so he wanted like he was like girl and he was trying to take a shower so he gave me the hair and i had to like make do um and try to hold it on my neck and my mouth girl if you're doing this just not on camera it'll be super quick and super simple because you literally could just put it on a doorknob or a dressing knob or whatever and get to braiding um but yeah like i love the thickness of it you don't have to use this much hair if you don't want to but i wanted it thick and big um and i even went in and like stretched well pulled at it a little bit more to make it a little bit more bigger a little bit more bigger what a little bigger um so now we added in the curly hair at the ends making sure to add it in at the right time so that way it's more curly hair left over than like the braiding hair um, and I was adding like some pieces at a time. I didn't add the whole amount at the same time. Um, I added in some pieces and then I braided it. And then I, in the next clip, I add the rubber band and then I add some more hair into the rubber band. Well, I, I use the scrunchie. Um, and then I add some more hair into the scrunchie just to make the ends a little bit thicker. And then I go in and they separate them even more. So it's like even thicker um, because the braid is thick. And so the bottom part has to be thick too just like you know for consistency and you know all of that um so yeah i'm gonna let you just wash the rest it's pretty simple quick and easy Okay, so now I'm going to add in the rubber band that I'm going to use to attach the braid to like my little bun ponytail thing. Um, so I'm literally just putting a rubber band through the hole, looping it through, and that's what we're going to use. 
Now it's time for the slicking portion of the tutorial. Like, listen, I normally do not just, I have to plan my hairstyles because my hair does not listen to me. It's not trained. It doesn't respect me sometimes. And I was like, you know what? It's time for you to let your hair know who is in control and who's the boss. So we're just going to do this on a whim. Like, we're just going to slick your hair down and go outside and see what happens. <laughs> but, um, you know, like I had to say a quick prayer because do nothing without the Lord. Okay. Do nothing without prayer no but i was confident that i was going to be able to do it but i still was like jesus i have somewhere to be and this cannot come out ugly um well not come out ugly but i needed my hair to respect me as i said i'm really trying to get in the habit of like just styling my hair more frequently um because i don't usually do that because i work you know a regular job every day and i don't have the time to like be messing around with my hair every day before work well, so I thought, but now that I know that my hair kind of sort of respects me a little bit, I could probably do some styles or something like before work, you know, but anyways, this is just the slicking portion. I'm detangling and then adding a little bit of water, then some gel, you know, and slicking it down. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to shut up now. Okay, so now it's time to attach the braid to my little braid ponytail bun situation. And I'm gonna just put the rubber band around and then tuck, oh, I didn't tuck it. Well, I'm gonna put the rubber band around and then I'm gonna pull each side of like the hair from the uh, braid, from the goddess braid, and then pull it until it connects and then pin it. Does that make sense? Like taking hair from each side of the braid and then pulling it under so it connects and covers my whole braid bun situation and then pin it down so my hair is like completely covered it didn't come out all night 
and I was turning up and all that and it was good now if you got more hair than me um, which most people do <laughs> then you probably are gonna need to like tuck your hair and then do this but my little braid is short so I was able to like finesse um, and then I'm just pinning like the hairs down where they need to be pinned and then I later on went in and fixed like that little bit of hump that was like right there um, but now I'm going to pull out some extra like braiding hair that was left over and wrap it around so it's just so it just looks a little bit more like I don't know I guess together neat or something I don't know but I feel like it did make it look a little bit better so I just grabbed the hair and literally wrapped it around like how you would a weave ponytail um and then I pinned like the la or did I pin I don't think I pinned because I don't think I needed to I think I just tucked it but yeah so wrap that around so it just looks a little bit more like neat and uniform you see that little piece right there I go in and fix it as you can see it's fixed okay y'all so i'm gonna be honest with you my hair is not ready yet like it's not set in place yet but i wanted to close out the video i'm about to wrap my hair back up until i leave out which is probably like another 20 minutes or so i'm about to wrap my hair i'm gonna put some more free spray on it and put my head in front of the air conditioner okay um <laughs> but this is basically the final look here we have it as I said, I'm about to let my hair set a little bit more, um, and I'm going to go fill in my edges over here. Like, I really do be drawing them on over here on this side because that bald spot don't respect me. I feel like this side is a little bit bald, but you can still see the hairs. Like, it's hairs right there, okay? This side, ain't no hairs right there. She need to be filled in. So, I'm about to do that. Um, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new. And drop that in the comments and let me know what you think. And enjoy the rest of your week, your week, and whatever it may be. Peace and blessings.